Hey guys, it's Aaron Farmer with MySugarFreeJourney.com and I am joined here by my special guest star, my lovely granddaughter. She's going to be joining me on the video today. So uh, the notes, um, actually first of all before we deal with the notes, I just want to say that on the blog, MySugarFreeJourney.com, I put up the Weight Loss Wednesday which is where I kind of keep track of the weight that I'm losing and I am 38 pounds down for the year and I'm about 4 pounds down since we started the 28 day uh, whoops! <laughs> Since we started the 28-day challenge, she, hold on, she, she just messed up my notes. Tell you what, little bit, I need you to not touch that. All right, let me find my starting place. But the notes for today are: we're going to be talking about um, the uh, uh, the signs of that you have too much insulin. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> she she moved everything around. Um, so here's what we're going to talk about. So when you step on a scale. And again, I'm sorry, these are the notes from last night's video uh, from the 28 Day Challenge Facebook group. So if you're not in that group, come join us. We're only 10 days into the 28 Day Challenge. You know, there's plenty of time for you to get in there and find out what we're all about. So when you step on the scale, you're measuring your body weight, obviously. Uh, but you're, you're basically measuring four different things. You're measuring, number one, your bones. Um, the greater your bone density, the longer you live. Uh, when old ladies get uh, get so fragile that they break a, break a hip, they're usually right near the end. So that's not a good thing. But you want good bone density. You want heavy bones, basically. Muscles. Um, the more muscle you have, the better off you are. Muscle burns glucose. So the more muscle you have, the faster you can burn off that blood sugar. So you want heavy muscles. Um, subcutaneous fat. So subcutaneous fat makes up about 80% of your total fat. Uh, it's what gives women their curves, uh, gives them their hourglass figure. Um, and subcutaneous fat is actually correlated with longer life. So the fat that goes underneath your skin, that's, that's a good thing. It protects you from the elements, it keeps you warm, it uh, provides a quick source of energy if you're, you know, if you're healthy enough to actually access it. So uh, not a quick source of energy, like a long source of energy. Uh, so subcutaneous fat is a good thing. But number four, the fourth thing that we're dealing with, sorry, my wife just walked in, is visceral fat. Um, so visceral fat is what can harm you. Visceral fat is the fat around your midsection. Visceral fat is the fat that crowds your organs and crowds into places that, that it doesn't belong. So it's the visceral fat. When we talk about losing weight, you know, you want heavy bones, you want heavy muscles, subcutaneous fat isn't going to hurt you. It's that visceral fat that you need to, uh, that you need to be focused on and you need to be getting rid of. So with all the talk about your weight, um, you want your bone, you want your muscle, you want your subcutaneous fat. It's just that visceral fat around your midsection that is the crux of your health. In fact, BMIs of around 25 and 30 have been associated with long lifespans, so long as none of that fat is hanging around around your gut. Um, so if you've if you've carrying some extra weight and you got a BMI of between 25 and 30. That, and you don't have like a pot belly, you're going to be fine. But if you do, you got that big belly, you got all that, that, that visceral fat around your midsection, you're in trouble. So your visceral fat is really the difference between dying of a heart attack or cancer in your 50s or living until your 80s. So that's the effect that visceral fat has on your longevity. Visceral fat drives insulin resistance, which in turn increases your chance of cancer, of diabetes, of Alzheimer's, of dementia, of cardiovascular disease, and of aging. Uh, in fact, the work that's being done currently on the effect of glucose metabolism on aging is really, really uh, breathtaking uh, about how clear a correlation is between how much glucose you metabolize and how long you live. So if you want to have a good long life, stop metabolizing so much glucose. Um, this is why, in addition to weighing yourself, hey, we're on a video. Uh, in addition to weighing yourself, you should also track your waist circumference to see what's happening with that belly fat. So it's not enough just to get on the get on the scale. You want to track your waist circumference. You want to make sure that your belly is getting smaller. That's that's the important fat that you need to get rid of. Um, so another warning sign is darkening or thickening or ridging of the skin called um, and I'm going to butcher this name, but acanthosis nigricans, nigricans, nigricans. Pretty good pretty good chance I misspelled, I mispronounced that. But that's, have you ever seen someone with uh, like dark skin around their neck? It looks like a ring around the collar. It's not, they're not, it's not that they're dirty. That's this nig, uh, acanthosis nigricans. I want to say nigricans. Sounds less offensive. Um, it's sometimes it's called ring around the collar when it shows up on your neck. But that's, 
that's a sign of insulin resistance. Also, if you see a proliferation of skin tags, which I had a ton before I started this diet, if you've got a bunch of skin tags, that's another sign that your insulin is out of control. What are you doing? Huh? Yeah. So if you've got a bunch of skin tags, that's another sign that your insulin's out of control and needs, and it needs to be dealt with. So when you're losing weight, look for more than just your total weight. Look for your pants to loosen. Look for those skin tags to go away. Look for your skin to clear. Look for mental clarity. Uh, look for more energy and stamina. Look in the mirror. Look at, look at how you look in the mirror as well as on the scales. And that's why pictures are so important as you begin a kind of a weight loss journey. Uh, it's hard to see when you see yourself changing just a, a little bit every single day. But if you look at yourself, uh, you look at a picture of yourself from 50 pounds ago, the, the, uh, the difference is stark. Uh, there are some huge differences. So take pictures of yourself, weigh yourself, but also measure your waist too as, as you continue to lose weight. You, that's, that's really important. That's something that you want to track. All right. I appreciate it. Eva Jane, you want to say goodbye? You want to say goodbye? You want to say goodbye? Say goodbye? Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Aaron with My Sugar Free Journey, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.